Welcome to Section 2 of Mastering Unreal Engine Game Development. Unreal Engine is a powerful tool with a plethora of features for developers to utilize while creating their next great game or application. With a great feature set, however, comes the intimidation of not knowing where to look when tackling specific problems. As this course is limited both in time and in scope, it will be extremely beneficial for you to know where to look when faced with a problem set not covered in this course. In this video, we'll take you through navigating and understanding the structure of the online Unreal Engine API and how it relates to the source code provided to you by Unreal Engine. To begin, we'll take a look at the official Unreal Engine documentation page located at docs.unrealengine.com. This page is your one-stop shop for all of Epic Games' official documentation as it relates to Unreal Engine. From the landing page, you'll encounter several options for discovery. To start, if you're completely new to Unreal Engine or game development in general, I suggest you take a look at the Getting Started with UE4 section of the Docs page. This section will get you started designing levels, importing and working with 3D assets, textures and meshes, and understanding Unreal Engine terminology. Furthermore, it provides guides to all the tools and editors within the Unreal Editor itself as well as gives a quick conversion guide for developers migrating over from Unity 3D. Lastly, this page also links to a programming quick start guide, which can be safely ignored as this course goes over all the material within it and more. Let's go back to the landing page. Without diving into each individual section, I encourage you to take a look through the documentation. These pages will explain the structure of the engine itself the in-game engine flow, go over blueprint scripting, cross-platform development, and provides you with a variety of tutorials and samples to learn from. In this lesson, we're going to focus on the programming guide section in particular and how to relate the knowledge you can learn here with the engine source provided when you install Unreal Engine 4. In this section, if you scroll down a bit, you'll find a heading labeled Unreal Engine API Reference. It is crucial to any budding Unreal developer to familiarize themselves with this section. So if you click Unreal Engine API from here, you'll be taken to the master list of Unreal Engine features. When starting out, you'll be spending a lot of time in the Engine section linked to on this page. From this section, we'll move into Game Framework. This section of the API defines and provides access to all the main and key features defined within Unreal Engine. Most of the functions implemented when working on your project will fall under this section of the API. As it would be impossible and impractical to go over every small section of this API, I'll just give you a quick example of what the documentation looks like for a specific class and how to find detailed definitions provided to you with Unreal Engine's installation. Let's look at the first class on this list, AActor. AActor is the base class for an object that could be placed or spawned in a level. The structure of a class definition in the docs is rather straightforward, but can be somewhat overwhelming on first viewing. On this page, you'll find the inheritance hierarchy, remarks on the high-level purpose of the class, a list of public and protected variables present within the class, any constructors that may be utilized to initialize the class, and finally, the entire list of public and protected functions. To know a specific definition at a glance, you can take a look at the icons on the left. A black italic V denotes a variable, while an italic F denotes a function. Any colors present to or on the icon denote the accessibility of each definition. Green means public, yellow means protected. Also, for functions, a white V inside a blue circle means a virtual function, whilst a white S inside a yellow circle means a static function. After the functions, you'll see a list of declared classes, enums, constants, and related classes. And finally, at the very bottom, you'll see the location of the class's header file. Let's look at this now. Let's open up our project in Visual Studio. Once you're in Visual Studio, unfold the engine folder on the right 
and unfold the UE4 project and continue on into the source folder. From the source folder, you can follow the path listed on the class's online documentation page to locate what we're looking for. Let's look at actor.h now. Without going too much into the code, I can point out that everything in these classes are extremely well documented and mirror exactly what you'll find on the class's online documentation. The online documentation is actually generated from the commons present within this file. Therefore, if you have access to your engine, you have access to the documentation. I know going through both paths may seem redundant considering they contain the same information, However, knowing that the core engine is extremely well documented and how to navigate it is extremely valuable in situations where you may not have an active internet connection, such as while traveling.